Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Woo! That's all I got to say in my Ric Flair voice, so. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Let's do the YouTube thing and let's get that out the way and we're going to go ahead and get started here, chat. Yeah. All right, if you are new to our channel, why don't you just become a family member, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That'll let you know when we come through with an exclusive. If y'all are a family member, y'all know what to go ahead and do. Yeah. Um, we, as Mike B would say, we're not going to talk about everything, but we're going to touch on some subjects. Yeah. Two nights. Go ahead and rate the video, thumbs up or thumbs down. It really don't even matter. You're already here and you've been counted. So, um. Indeed. <laughs> Queen Sugar. Study Queen war, war no, no more. more. Woo, okay. What episode? We're going to start off where they started off at. Unvi isn't really pleased with the split that Mr. Rollins had actually presented her. It was a 60-40 split. To be honest with you, that was not a bad deal. Yeah, for him putting all putting up all the risks. Yeah. Yeah, she just making the pies, so she really ain't no risk on her part because she ain't losing nothing. Yeah, and if she had taken that to mm. her lawyer or even talked to Charlie about something like that, Charlie yeah. would have told her, said, no, no, no. That is a very fair split for yeah. what this man is doing. Now, what she could have done was negotiated it at a, at a later time when she feels like, Everything that he's put in, he's gotten out. So maybe give it like a five-year projection. Yeah. And then we can go ahead and renegotiate. And uh, maybe I can split and it'll be 60-40 or something like that. Yeah. She could have done that. But instead of her... See, I'm going to say it. <laughs> I knew you were going there. Vi, do you want a business or do you want a trophy piece? Hmm. Because I don't, I don't really understand what's happening here. Yeah. So then... Her rebuttal back to this contract that she didn't like was she wanted to open up her own pie shop. He ain't going to go for that. But you do realize that this man is still going to need something out of this pie shop, right? Exactly. And he's going to have to... It's probably going to be more. It's going to be more money because he already got stores. So that's where he's trying to launch it from, the stores, right? And then he's yeah. he going to use his connections to get her in other stores. Yeah. That's already built. Okay. Yeah. So you ain't gonna go for I wouldn't go for that. No. Uh, nah, no. Uh -uh. Why, to me it'd be an insult. Why would I do another brick and mortar when I already have one and I got connection with other people I already got one? And I'm helping you. Yeah. You not bringing nothing but your expertise and yeah, your recipe. Just your recipe. And I'm giving you 40%. So he was generous with the 40%. Yeah. Because I he actually was thought very, it was going to be lower than that. And then I, I, thought was gonna, to, I thought it was going to be an 80-20. And then I was going to have to talk mad cash money skit about Mr. Rollins. Yeah. But when you're talking to somebody that has a degree in business and men, and I did a concentrated studies of business law, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's a good deal. Didn't mean to tell y'all what my education on background So you ain't got to put up a dime and you get 40% of the profits? What else? So 40% if they do a million dollars in profit, that's $600,000 and you didn't put up a dime. Right? Can you do that at your... No, that, that I don't do right? math in my head. I do calculate tools. It don't matter. Yeah. Because somebody... It's time good money. <laughs> it's good money. <laughs> so, come to find out, this this is on my 60th birthday. Well, at least the weekend uh, we're going to celebrate She look her. good for 60. Yeah, she, she ain't got no butt, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, she didn't actually lower for one? He, it's too late. Oh, it's okay. Too late. Gotcha. So, Hollywood was shady on this one because I knew what he did. Because sometimes I'm like that. My dad gonna sell. He gave her this nice pretty box. She looked at the box. It was empty. He said, you know what? The box is empty because I want you to tell me what it is that you want for your birthday. And I will fill it up. Basically. Because you're a woman and know what she want. What he said was. I don't know what to get you. <laughs> anything I get you, you gonna fight me on it. You don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. So if I put the burden on you, you can't be mad about your birthday gift. Exactly. <laughs> so that's exactly what he said. Yeah. Over there at the restaurant, we have Ra meeting with Benny. I said, oh, so we giving him another chance, huh? Okay, whatever. Miss me with that. But Benny, did y'all see his head though? His head and beard stay toe up, boy. Toe down. Toe up. Get you a sandalwood comb. We're giving you some wisdom nuggets. Yeah. When you a man that got a beard, mm -hmm. 
get you one of them combs that's saturated with sandalwood. I mean, that's yeah. all made from the um, bark of sandalwood. Maybe uh, the next time we come back on camera, maybe I might go and show it to y'all what I have. They got Google. They on YouTube. Hey. They can Google. So, um, Mr. Benny basically said, listen, I invited one dude over. He brought his partners. I didn't really mean for it to get out of hand like that. So, do I have my job or no? Right I just said, you know what? I'm all about giving people second chances because somebody gave me a second chance. But what you don't do is you don't play about my son because I don't yeah. play about my son. So I said, oh, so we're gonna, we just going to get off the hook like this. And then I got real confused because Rod got a call. And he stepped away. But he got a call like, <laughs> he got all cheery and giddy. And I said, oh, this train, uh-uh, it's Dollar. Uh-huh. And I said, so what you all giddy for about this day on dollar situation? Because the last time I remember that y'all had an exchange. Y'all were pissed off at each other. They got doing blue was up in your face like a pissed off cat. Uh -huh. Telling you he wanted to go home with his mama. <laughs> but come to find out, blue never went with his mama. Nah. He stayed right there at, his, at the house with his daddy. And he, now, was just, he was just play pamping. Now in the words of James Colwell, I would have packed you, your son skit, and you take your son and give me a goddamn break. Take it. <laughs> Since you think you can do better than me. Now, here's the thing. I've been saying from the get-go. If they're going to do this co-parenting thing, then y'all need to figure this skit out. Yeah. Y'all need to yeah, figure it out. Yeah, y'all need to come with a, with a plan because... It's what, too much. Yeah, what y'all doing now is... Blue is in the middle of it now. Yeah. So, he know when y'all beefing. And this is the one thing I didn't appreciate on the last episode. You don't let your son disrespect his father nope. in your presence. No. I don't care how much y'all beefing. That's right. I don't care how valid his feelings may be at that moment. That's right. This man raised you. Yep. And what you're not going to do is disrespect him in my presence. That's right. Uh -uh, We're not doing that. But mm -hmm. that what Crackhead do. Eh? <laughs> I'm going to get off the Crackhead. See, they'll do that when they want to win the argument or mm -hmm. win the battle. Yeah. See, they know right from wrong, but when you get when you when you got you're the crackhead manipulation, that, you don't, that you don't give speaker? a fuck. Nope, you're a casualty of war. Yeah. <laughs> so, but let the bodies hit the floor. Hmm. That's what they say. So she feels bad about how Blue talked to his daddy, and she basically said, in the heat of the moment, children say mean things, and even adults say mean things. So he all get it. He laughed, and he was like, yeah, uh huh. And he, she was like, okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick Blue up tomorrow because I got some tickets. We're going to the museum. I painted his room. I did all of this. And he lays it down on her and was like, uh, about that, it's Vi's birthday. We're having a birthday celebration. Kind of yeah. snuck up on me. Hi, I sneak up on you. It's been the same day every, every year. year. 60 years. Every day. Now, I was with Dollar on this one. Hold on. Wait a minute. What? Okay, but she did good. She went ahead and bent. And she said, I'll get him on Sunday. But how... How, how come she what, couldn't do what she wanted to do with her son during the day? But, but Because the party was at night. Now, was he supposed to have been with her that weekend? Yes. Well, yeah. Okay. But because they don't have a schedule. Everybody yeah. get... Well, the one thing I can't say, at least he's a wanted child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Now, that's a blessing right that's there all by blessing. itself. Because some kids ain't even wanted. So, we see the scene where... Nova's over there talking to Mr. Prosper. Pastor Prosper. Pastor, Pastor Prosper. Pastor, Prosper. Pastor Bishop, Prosper, Prophet, Evangelist, uh -huh. Teacher, and Preacher. World's best selling author. God, don't he need to be on TV, man? Well, he is. We just seen him. No, I'm talking <laughs> about he need to be on the stage. Preaching. Ooh. He's having this conversation with Nova. He's telling Nova, like, listen, you know. When I came back from the military, you know, I felt like a really proud black man. I was able to take all the money that I had and I just bought up all the land that I could get with my money and I leased it. And she was like, you know, so do you think that leasing would have been, you know, was better than actually owning land? Because now that my dad's died, you know, his dad, I'm able to see all the stuff that he had to go through. The, the taxes, the upkeep, mm -hmm. the risks, no reward, you know. I was able to see all of this. And Mr. Prosper basically told her, said, listen, when True died, I mean, your daddy really trusted me with some really, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm, I basically, he was like, I praise the Lord that, that your daddy, daddy called me. 
and he entrusted me with some information. Yeah. And one night he came out there and he was talking about how much he missed True, how hard it was raising you all. And he was wondering at the end of it all, was any of this worth it? Yeah. And she was like, what are you talking about, the land? Mr. Prosper said he's talking, talking about, about everything. everything. So now Nova's in her feelings because she was like, hold on, I always viewed my father as this really strong, strong man, black yeah. man. Mm -hmm. And you mean to tell me he had a moment where he was ready to throw in the towel mm -hmm. and end it all? And Prosper was like, yes, he walked that field with, a gun. with his gun. And for hours. For hours. He said, I basically walked that with him. And I thank God that I had, we had that connection where he was able to basically throw that on me and we could talk that thing through. But he was like, when you deal with everything that this man had to deal with and everything that we had to deal with in the mm -hmm. time period that we had to deal with it in, that would break any man in two. Mm -hmm. So basically he was telling her, just because your father had a weak moment doesn't mean that your father was, was a weak man. man. That's right. He had a moment. That's right. And he's entitled to that moment. Yeah. So basically, don't you be judging nobody. But you know what I wish, though? I wish... Now, we can't, as growing up as children, we can't see everything because nah. we can't handle everything as children. But I think it would have been good if we saw some of the minor weak moments Yeah. to see that even a strong person can be broken sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you see them get broken, and then you see them bounce back from it. So you can learn and be like, okay, so when you grow up, when you get smacked, you're like, you know what? I saw daddy, I saw mama, grandma get smacked. Now I know I can get back up because mm -hmm. they did. Yeah. And a lot of us didn't see that. We just saw the strong, they kept everything from us. And we or, just had to, we had to, had to grow up and be smacked and, <laughs> and and didn't know how to handle it. And we just had to, had to do the best way we could to come out of it. Or you saw the opposite. You saw them show it in other forms alcohol drugs yeah beating on their women mm -hmm. abusing their kids doing what you know destructive very destructive, destructive so, stuff yeah crazy right so <laughs> hollywood <laughs> hollywood shady mama came into town baby just popped up out of nowhere rode a bus yeah. in the town surprisingly as soon as she came through the door, I said, ooh, there's been some bad blood between yeah, her so and Friday. Because like, she was like, what the hell she did? Uh -huh. She going to stay at it. Yep. But Hollywood's mama, she brought a peace offering. She bought her <laughs> an apron with vase, prize, pies written on the front. So she uh -huh. knew that Hollywood had gave her that little nugget of information. And they started playing real cool. Real nice and with like, and I'm like, okay, mama, I got my eye on you. What is about uh, yeah, to happen? Happen? Why you in this house? But she shocked me though. She shocked the hell out of she me. She shocked the hell out of me because I thought she was gonna start trouble. Well, she kind of did though. I mean, she did, but in a good way. <sighs> I don't know. It was in a it, in a good way until one part. All right. So um. Hollywood, you know, they talk about the surprise party and all of this. I'm vibe really didn't want the surprise party, but okay, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, we get to this party. It, am I jumping ahead? Don't matter. It don't matter. So we get to the party. Everybody's having them a good time. We get to see Kiki once again. Blue is out there dancing. Tran came through. They doing a leg slide. Yeah, I'm. And she would do it better than Ralph Ager. Uh -huh. um, how, I mean, um, Prosper was on the side with his cane, you know. Uh -huh. He was, he was, he was trying to get it in. He couldn't quite get it in. Yeah, you know. I said, Hollywood is a really nice looking older man. I said, y'all better come through with the black. Oh, he's cool. He cool cat, man. Cool cat with some, with some pretty eyes. You could tell he probably was a thing back in his day. Mm. He probably had all the women all over him, but he only chose with two. Yeah. <laughs> so... Nova's still in her god darn feelings. Nova's over there in the co oh wait a minute. Nova, yep. I'm yeah. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, Nova's do over that. there in her feelings. She goes off and have a little seat in the little woods, like. And here come Remy. Like, I said, what y'all not gonna you do? Doing? What is you doing? What you're not gonna do is sit out here and be disrespectful respectful in yeah. my Mike B voice. Don't you know Charlie is sitting right up there at the well, party? Well, she won't dare yet. Oh, she won't dare yet? She won't yet, but the rest of the family was dead. Yeah, so everybody see. else could see. Well, they can relate the information and say they was out there by that tree. Well, I vibe peeped it. 
I don't know what she peeped, but she peeped enough to say, hey, y'all need to bring the party back up here. here. Remy went ahead and went, but you, of course, Nova, being a rebel that she is, she stayed behind a little while and stayed at the tree, you know, soaking in her problems. Okay, that's cool. Do what you got to do. Process it how you want to process it. Yeah. See, I can't tell nobody how to process this. We see Ralph Angel introduce Blue to Tran. And Blue was not feeling Tim. Tran at all. He was he like, was hold looking, on, wait a minute. like, who is this lady? This is not my mama. Uh-uh. Y'all not getting married. Y'all ain't having no kids. Uh-uh. And now her? 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 What? He told us, you know, Blue, go ahead and play nice and whatnot. So Blue went ahead and played nice. They started running out of, what they run out of? Ice. So, I buy sent them to the store to go get some ice. When they get to the store, who's at the store? Dollar. Oh. That guy doing dollar, and I said, ooh, this is about to be yeah. trouble, trouble. She looked so hurt. She looked hurt. She stood there, looked like Michael Myers. And you can tell that her and her and Ralph Angel just need to patch it up and, and, and get he, back together. And get married and go on but they married way. Because they both are playing much. games, it's man. It's too much. They playing all these games. I ain't going to say it's the best choice, but right now, I'd rather see y'all together. Just, it just, just, I ain't got time. I don't have time for the boot skit. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hollywood and his mama, Lord have mercy. That was a good conversation. It was man. a very good conversation. Very good conversation. Now, Hollywood's mother has the concern that probably anyone with a younger son dating an older woman would have, or mm. vice versa. Yeah. Big age, um, big um, age gap. And she was like, um, are you sure about this thing here? You know? You know, da 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 da, and Hollywood was like, you know what? Vi is my soulmate. Yeah, I can't, I I can't choose what package she comes in and what expiration date is stamped on it. Oh, what, <laughs> what established date? Was, was, yeah, what was date stamped on? It's like, come on, do that with that. Okay, but he was like, you know, I love her. Yeah, and what we have is special, and you know, seeing how you and my father grew up, that's not the kind of relationship that I wanted. That man worked all the time. He stayed on the rig. And even when he was home from the rig, he, he still was, still was on, on the rig. rig. And in old, true, old head fashion, the mama was like, oh, no, 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 no. What you're not going to do is talk about your father. No, no, no. He was a hardworking man. He was a provider. He, was he a provider. provided for this family. The best as he could. I said, here we go with this booze, Skip. <laughs> and basically Hollywood was like, I know all of that. But what I need is an emotional relationship. I need mm -hmm. a real freaking relationship yeah. where we are soulmates. We are partners in crime and all of this. And this is when it started getting really yeah, good. Yeah. Really real. This was some good advice, man. I said, okay. Hollywood's mama said, you know what, Hollywood? I am so proud of you. I am so proud of the man that you have become. But I have to say what I'm going to say. She said, when I told you that, um, what's her name? Trudy? What was her name? What was his first wife's name? Whatever her L name Lorraine? Is. Lorraine? Uh, Leanne. Uh, Leanne, yeah. When I told you that Leanne won't write for you. I was right. I was right. And this thing with, um, Violet. Huh. I said, oh God, here, See, we, here we go. He said, she said, what about what you want? Because she's a woman of an age where she knows what she wants. And she, she has, has everything. The house. She has money. She has a business going on. But what is it that you have? Because I'm your mom. I know about everything that you said that you wanted in life. Mm -hmm. Growing up, you said you wanted kids. You wanted this, you wanted that. But basically, you looking like a kept man. That's what she wanted to say. At this point, you look like a kept man. <laughs> Whatever it is that Violet wants to do is what you do because you love her. But what about what you want yeah and, and she i said, said oh and the, and the good part was said every time you get in a relationship you give everything you bend and give everything said, and don't ever get what you want i said whoa Ooh. and she said i love you but i just don't want you to have any regrets and when it came to the kids thing hollywood was like i'm good we talked about we that. talked about it and we're good and i said lord have mercy that's why when we first met i was like don't even get emotionally attached mm -hmm. to me 
Because that ain't something that I'm ever going to change my mind about. Mm -hmm. So if you want something, and you think for a minute you're going to change your mind, go ahead and keep on moving to the chick. You almost street. changed one day. I almost it changed like, about adopting. Nah, it was it was kids. It was for, it was for a short little moment. Was I on my period? And then something happened. Uh, I must have been on my period. No, I don't know what you. I don't know what you was on. <laughs> I really was having a dead on moment. Just say life happened, and then we both was like, nah, Hell "No, yeah. I like the way it is. Mm -hmm. I can get up and go. I ain't got to pack no bags. Hey, mm -mm. but when she when she told him that boy, that got his wheels turning, man. And I said. Cause we were just talking about that that's similar to the day of how yep. you go through life and you always giving to everybody else and you sitting back and wondering when it's gonna come your turn that you always been over backwards mm. and make sure everybody else is happy and that they good and they provided for but when it come down to you after they get what they want they kick you to the curb now you left holding the bag and nobody's there for you and then you're trying to figure out well what's wrong with me yeah why is it every time this happens it happens to me or you feel like Nothing is, ever comes together if I don't make it happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we want to have a good time, I got to make it happen. If I don't make it happen, we won't it ain't going to be nothing. Or you look around on Facebook and they don't have a good time, but they ain't never invited you. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Yeah. The person that makes all the good things happen. Okay. But anywho, um, but I know some of y'all can feel the same thing. I see yeah. some of y'all going through that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leeches. But anywho, um, Nova and Remy they end up in that goddamn kitchen and get around that water. And I told y'all it's something about them goddamn water and the dig on Nova and Remy. And I said, like, this, this, you know, they can see y'all through that window up there, right? No, I create a drought <laughs> because they in the kitchen. Nova going to grab his hand and they start kind of embracing and connecting once again. So this little thing that they had going, it's going to come up again. Yep. It and ain't they, Nova. Was, they were saved by Aunt Vi again because she was like, um, no, Where, no, where's Nova at? No. Where's, and they got to hit. I said, no, get caught. Get caught. Get caught. I was hoping that she would walk right through there. Uh, 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 what, what y'all doing? So then, um, Charlie, she finally made it to the party. And I said, Charlie always get the rough end of the stick. Charlie had not been there at the party. Ain't nobody asked about Charlie. Nope. Ain't nobody called Charlie. Charlie keeping all this skit afloat. She trying to... Charlie... Yeah. Is in the background trying to figure out how to fix all this skit. Yep. Keep the... Try but y'all party. How to keep the business going. Take down the landress. Take down the landress. Freaking what else she doing? Trying to... Protect her son from all this bullshit that Davis West is doing. Pick up the pieces. Yeah, she just she everything for everybody, and ain't nobody and when she doing nothing for her. They ain't even besides the white lady. Yeah. Yeah, the white lady coming through for now. Her. Ain't she coming through? She coming through. So when Charlie gets there, Prosper immediately. Pastor Prosper said, "Let me go over here and pray for me." He said, "He said, let me go and take this cane and come work my way up on over here to to give you a word." Funny loud. <laughs> but you know, I love how older people break stuff down without actually saying anything to you about what you're going through. But they give you some wisdom nuggets and they make you be like, what the hell? And when they go ahead. And when they tell it to you, it's only a few words. Mm. And they reveal just a little bit about themselves yep. that make you be like, What? What? I didn't know. And, and then they know they got you then. Uh-huh. And he said, you know what? When Clara died. I never wanted to remarry again. I love that woman with everything in me. You know she was my second wife, right? Charlie was like, what? He was like, yeah. He said, basically he was like, just because your first relationship didn't work out, don't mean that love can't be around the corner. Yeah, your story is not over. Yeah, and he said, don't be so focused on your past. He said, don't be distracted by yeah. your past. That, that you, you can't, can't focus, focus on, your future. on your future. He said that to me. I said, whoa. That was powerful. We were walking the track day and we said that. We said, yep, that was powerful. And Charlie was looking like you got God darn right. Right. right, boy. Charlie, you are still young. You're beautiful. Yep. They don't make no you got some. You got some business sense. I, I'm telling you, man, when you can find a person like a Prosper, 
value them in your life because they can give you some wisdom nuggets, man. They're going to save you years of struggle. Hello. Yeah. He just, she just, she got delivered right there. She was like, wait, what? She got delivered set free right there. And her hot boss went on and had um, a um, uh, beat with the Joker at the what you call it, right? Uh -huh. that. Just the like that. that helped her with the um, yep. the battery. And come to find out, he living in Donald Trump's Make America Great Again. He got all kinds of issues going on, the immigration thing and all mm -hmm. that, and all the trouble that Donald Trump is causing. I appreciate it, but I don't want to talk about but it. But he said his brother coming through and making sure his kids and stuff is good. So. And he getting harassed by the police and all this old bullshit. Yeah. I'm sick of it. Not, I'm sick of it. Not sick of talking about it. Kind of that too, but it's yeah. what it is. So at the party, it's time to bring this, you know, this party to a close and whatnot. And Hollywood, he, he a little intoxicated. Toe up from the flow up, not a little. He, he, Toe up. He got the yak. And you know, and I said, you know, the brown make the panties come down. And we're going to see that a little later. Hollywood gave a toast. And he's basically like, you know what? I like to wish a happy birthday to my girl, my queen, my future wife, Violet Desiree. Uh huh. And I said, and she was like, and I said, what did he say wrong? Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is about to come back up. Yep. So when they get back in the house, you know, they had went ahead and put Violet, I mean, not Violet, Hollywood's mom on the bed. And Hollywood was like, she sleep. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. So he was ready to turn up and in. That brown. Make uh -huh. the panties come down. So he yeah. was ready. He was ready to he go. He said, Violet, pull your panties to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Told me put, put my feelings to the side. <laughs> feelings to the side. <laughs> exactly. She ain't feeling it. He was like, hold on. It's your birthday. What did I do, do this that? time? I mean, what, what's going uh, on? Now, what his mama said to him is ringing through his head. Yeah, like, okay, here we go. Here we here go with it this is. Skip. She was like, you know what, Hollywood? Um, <laughs> she said, I don't want to hurt, wanna your hurt you. I said, here we go with the buzz kit. She said, but I would. She said, I can't put anything in the box because I have what I want already. And I said, oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. You got Hollywood already. He can't fit in that box. Yeah, but I, she, I understand what you're saying, though. She said, no, I I, I want my name. Or my said, last name. She said, I don't want to take your last name. So this is when Hollywood read her for filth. Yeah. He was like, hold on. You don't want my money. You don't want me to contribute. You don't want me to help you with your business. You don't want anything. And the only thing that I have left is to give you, you is my, my name. name. And you don't want that either. It's like you don't need me. She said, she, I don't. She, yeah. She said, not in that kind of way. But, but she, she said, said everything, I want you. everything in me wants you. But not like this. Not having to take your name like you have ownership over me. And then and she I said, said, I didn't think that was a, a big deal to you. He, he said, said, I didn't, I didn't either until now. And walked out, and I guess he slept on the couch. So the next morning, his mama was like, hold on, what the hell going on? What, what happened over there? And he was like, you know... You know, basically he ran it down to his mama. And then the mama was like, okay. She confused me for a minute. I said, hold on, you came in here. You started all this. Yeah, yeah. You got his wheels turning. But now you're going to tell him, say. But I understood what she was doing. She was speaking to him from a woman of Vi's age. Yeah. She was like, just because that woman came out of a battle doesn't mean that she still yeah, doesn't have some scars. scars. She's accomplished a lot. She's finally getting to a place in her life where she feels like she has a stamp on her own and her own destiny yeah her taking your name is a is a scar for her so you just make sure at the end of the deal that you really do have her heart yeah. a name is a name but you make sure that you have yeah, that girl. woman's heart at the end of the day yeah and you know so she licked his wounds and he was like okay so when he went and go talk to Vi, you know they had a little exchange and they made up so the compromise was because you know Hollywood wanted this floss. Yeah. They spent a whole lot of money on this wedding. She didn't. She wanted something small, intimate, and whatnot. So the compromise was, I still want to keep my name. But I will give you the wedding and the floss factor that you want. Yeah. And we can get this You said we're going to spend some fed. money. He still compromised and did what the book she wanted to do. Yeah, he still, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vi, don't you, don't, don't, don't mess up. Don't mess guy. up the good thing. You got a good dude there, man. Don't do it. 
really, really intense episode. Yeah. Loved Prosper. Yeah. I could have had like a he, whole hour of Prosperisms. He, he needs an award. Yeah, I said, okay. For that wisdom, he dropped the night, boy. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. So come to find out what the Landrys are trying to do. Yeah. They're trying to flush everybody out because now they're working with the government because the government wants to build a private jail, jail on the Bullskin. land. And Charlie's girl came through in a clutch and now she got to figure out how to present this to the family and figure out a way to fix this bullshit. And once again, the Landrys are trying to flush them out yep. and they're going to try to basically kill them the way that they killed kill their, their daddy. daddy. Stress them out. Stress them out till they break and by default, they get their property back. 